this is a video for lesbian couples who want to have a baby together in, and who are in the process of trying to conceive or are thinking about that. And I've met a lot of couples like this in my research over the years. And so in this video, I'm sharing some of the practicalities that people have spoken to me about, also some of the legal issues that can be good to think about, and some of the emotional issues of donor conception. So starting then with some of the practical issues, one of the first things that couples have to think about is who's going to get pregnant. And that's a decision, of course every woman is different and every couple is different, but often the people have told me that they make that decision based on age. The second practical issue is then that you need to think about whether you ovulate or you need to find out about ovulation. And particularly you need to find out about whether you ovulate and when you ovulate, because when you, when you conceive using donor sperm, it's absolutely crucial that you get the timing right. Finding this out can be really quite difficult, so it's good to be careful about that you know how to find out. There are good traditional methods, there are also kind of new kits you can buy in the chemist, for example, that helps you map ovulation. The third issue that is really good to think about as part of the process and also when you're a parent is going to matter a lot is whether you have a known or an unknown donor. So these are issues about do you want the donor to have a place at all in your family? Do you want him to know the child a bit? Or do you want him to be involved as a parent in your family? And these, are, uh, these choices really matter for how your family life is going to turn out later on. So it can be really good to work out for yourselves in advance how you, what you prefer and what you think is going to work for you. So as a fourth issue, uh, you need to consider how you're going to conceive. Are you going to go to a clinic or do, are you going to do it at home or a sort of um, self-arranged conception informally with a donor that you know? Um, it can be, in different parts of England, there are, my research shows that there are access for, for lesbian couples on the NHS to donor, donor conception, but this can vary a lot, so it can be good to find out through your GP whether there is money available. Otherwise, there are private clinics. Uh, these are very expensive, which is worth knowing about beforehand. Um, and of course, if you go to a clinic, there is also access to sperm banks through those clinics, so then you don't have to find your own donor. So when it comes to the legal aspects of lesbian parenthood, the legal situation around legal parenthood is really quite complex. So it's worth thinking about and trying to find out about what, what this means in your situation and what you want from the situation. So what I mean by that is what uh, it can be good to think about. Do you want you and your partner to be the legal parents? Do you want the donor to be a legal parent? If you go to a clinic, it's worth knowing that the, the legal framework is different uh, if you go to a clinic that, compared to if you do it yourselves. So things that can affect legal parenthood is, for example, whether you're in a civil partnership or not, who goes on the birth certificate, whether that's you as a lesbian couple or whether that's the donor. And a third thing that also can, can matter later on is whether the donor actually has involvement with the child, whether the donor knows the child and sees the child. So these are all issues to think about beforehand, just to make life easier afterwards. So the third area I want to talk about is the emotional issues and the emotional impact of using donor conception. And some of the issues that people have spoken to me about is, for example, the stress uh, of going through the process. The emotional up and ups and downs of donor conception can be really quite difficult to handle, so it's good to be prepared for. Uh, don't let it put you off, but just these are just issues that are good to be prepared for beforehand. Um, there's also the issue around that it can be quite hard to find people to talk about donor conception to because it's quite socially unusual and we don't often talk about conception uh, socially and culturally. And so therefore it can be good to maybe seek advice online. There's quite a lot of forums where people discuss these sorts of issues and where lesbian couples meet to talk about issues of donor conception. Obviously when a lesbian couple conceive together there's going to be one of you who's got a biological link to the child and the other one doesn't have. For some women this was really quite anxious making and worrisome, uh, um, particularly at the stage of trying to conceive and during pregnancy. But I should say that a lot of women who said they'd been really worried about that, once the baby was born these, they were saying these worries just seemed to evaporate and sort of be buried in the practicalities of parenthood and nappies and all the other things that parenthood brings with it. Of course part of, part of being a biological or non-biological parent, it might be anxious making for yourself, but some people also feel anxious about, even if they felt fine about that, they were anxious that other people might not feel fine about that and might not see them 
and the partner as a proper family together might not see them as a proper mom. And particularly one of those issues that came up was whether family was going, how family was going to receive them. And every couple is different, different of course, and some people enjoyed very supportive family relationships. Others had a much harder time negotiating support from wider family because they were lesbians. 